best words you could possibly hear 20 seconds away from liftoff. Elon Musk unveils Starship rocket super heavy with 12 giant machines. The mightiest and most colossal rocket ever conceived has once again pierced the heavens. Yet this time it made a return. SpaceX's towering 400 foot tall Starship launched for its fifth voyage, ascending from its South Texas Starbase. This mission wasn't just another launch, it was poised to push the boundaries of space travel itself. Their boldest aim? To bring back Starship's Titanic first stage booster Super Heavy with precision, guiding it straight to its launch mount to be caught by the metallic chopstick arms of the towering launch structure a feat unheard of until now. And that's exactly what transpired. A mere seven minutes post liftoff, Super Heavy performed a near perfect landing, hovering beside the Mechazilla Tower, where its mechanical arms enveloped and secured it. This will be immortalized in the annals of engineering, exclaimed Kate Tice, SpaceX's quality systems engineering manager, while cheers erupted at their Hawthorne, California hub. This is mind blowing. First try, and we've successfully captured the super heavy booster on its launch mount. Is this real? SpaceX spokesperson Dan Hua added in astonishment from the launch site. Even with today's technological advancements, what we witnessed seemed almost like wizardry. However, the ambitious booster catch wasn't the sole focus of this mission. SpaceX also aimed to send Starship's 165-foot-tall upper state, simply referred to as Starship or ship into the void of space, only for it to return and splash down in the Indian Ocean. Around 65 minutes after leaving Earth, Starship ignited three of its engines, hovered momentarily over the ocean, tilted and spectacularly erupted into flames. That was unbelievable, Tice remarked. We weren't expecting to salvage any part of Starship, so this is the absolute best conclusion we could have dreamed of. Elon Musk, SpaceX's visionary founder and CEO, shared similar sentiments, stating on X formerly Twitter, today marked a monumental stride toward making life multiplanetary. SpaceX envisions Starship as the vessel that will spearhead humanity's ventures to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Designed to be entirely and swiftly reusable and ability epitomized by the Super Heavy's landing plan, Starship holds the promise to drastically cut the time between flights. Sheer power, combined with this reusability, could revolutionize space exploration, as affirmed by Musk and SpaceX alike. NASA also shares SpaceX's grand vision, having selected Starship to serve as the first crewed lander for its Artemis program, which focuses on lunar exploration. If everything proceeds as scheduled, Starship will place NASA astronauts on the moon for the Artemis 3 mission, targeted for a September 2026 launch. To meet these lofty goals, SpaceX is dedicated to fine-tuning Starship's design using their iterative development process upgrading, testing, and then flying again. The fifth Starship test flight featured numerous upgrades compared to its predecessors. Before the fifth flight, we made a significant overhaul to Starship's heat shield, with our technicians devoting over 12,000 hours to replace the thermal protection system with next-generation tiles, an additional ablative layer, and more robust protection for the flaps. SpaceX detailed in their mission brief. The prior four test flights took place in April and November 2023, as well as in March and June of this year. With every flight, Starship demonstrated heightened performance. The first launch lasted only four minutes before SpaceX terminated the flight due to the stages failing to separate. However, by the fourth mission in June, Starship reached orbital velocity, and both Super Heavy and Starship successfully splashed down in their designated zones. The fifth mission was yet another giant leap forward. If it were solely up to SpaceX, this latest flight likely would have occurred two months prior. By early August, the company declared Starship flight ready. Nevertheless, regulatory hurdles slowed the process. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, was yet to approve the mission. By September, 
the FAA projected a late November green light for Flight 5. Explaining the holdup, the FAA noted in a statement that SpaceX's license for Starship Flight 4 allowed for multiple launches with an unchanged vehicle configuration and mission profile. However, SpaceX's modifications for Flight 5 necessitated a more detailed review. The agency also disclosed that SpaceX provided additional environmental impact data in mid-August, broadening the scope of their review and requiring consultations with other agencies. SpaceX expressed frustration at the regulatory delays. On September 10th, the company released a blog post titled Starships Are Meant to Fly criticizing the FAA's sluggish pace and regulatory framework, especially regarding launch industry rules. The delay wasn't due to safety concerns but was the result of unnecessary environmental analysis SpaceX argued. It's exasperating that the bureaucratic process for approving a rocket launch now takes longer than it does to build the hardware. Despite the predicted late November approval, the launch was cleared ahead of schedule. And rest assured, SpaceX's ambitions soar even higher. Just last month, SpaceX conducted a static fire test, firing the engines of the Flight 6 Starship vehicle while keeping it tethered to the ground. With more test flights on the horizon, SpaceX remains relentless in its pursuit, ready to continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We'll return back at T plus 40 minutes while the ship continues to coast for re-entry. Oh, this is not, I mean, it's, it's hard to believe that. All right, exciting news there. It's hard to believe that, you know, Booster isn't the only excitement that we have today. Just confirmation there. A gorgeous view of planet Earth behind uh, the ship. And it is now in, in the orbit that we expected it to.